Now is the time to do evaluation and confirmation of specific allergens. We can either do a skin prick test or not suitable candidates we have to do a immuno cap test and in some we have to do component resolved diagnostic testing. Allergy skin prick test is a gold standard test where specific allergen is introduced into the skin and absorbed for a wheel and flare reaction. In vitro tests are done when allergy skin prick test cannot be done. We recommend to do that in certain situations which will be explained later. Total Ig measurement, immuno cap test, component resolved diagnostic test or some of the in vitro tests. Sensitization versus allergy. We need to do know the difference between sensitization and allergy. Sensitization is an immunological term whereas allergy is a clinical term. One can be sensitized but not be allergic. Allergy skin prick test. This is the most common method to determine the sensitization of an individual to an allergen. It detects the presence of specific Ig antibodies on the surface of the mast cells. It is a rapid, cost effective and clinically relevant test. It is simple and easy to perform to detect the allergen sensitization. What is the technique of the skin prick test? There are so many varieties of skin prick test of which we generally most of us just follow the skin prick test. A drop of the allergen extract is placed on the skin and a sharp instrument or a lancet is used to make a prick at a 45 degree angle. Just point, uh, 3 m microliter of the fluid enters the skin and you have to wait for about 15 minutes after introduction of various allergens and wait for the uh, wheel and flare reaction. So what are the categories of allergens that are used selected for allergy skin prick test? We need not do a battery of 200 allergens for every everybody. Based on the history, we have to select the allergens. But normally, we do for most of the patients, the inhaled allergens include the in indoor allergens such as house dust mite, cockroaches, animal dander such as dog and cat and mouths or the fungi. Common outdoor allergens include the pollens from the trees, grasses and weed pollens and mould spores. Coming to the ingestions, whenever there is a history of food allergy, we have to check for animal protein allergens and plant derived protein allergens. There are class 1 and class 2 proteins. There are, we have to also always do a control, positive control in being histamine and a negative control being glycerinated saline. What are the categories of allergens for AST? The inhalants are dust mites, which are widely prevalent in the house, especially in the bedrooms or over the carpets, bedding, in the stuffed toys of the children and cockroaches we have to um, do definitely testing for cockroaches and in any wet patches inside of the house you have to do testing for fungi. For outdoor allergens you have to test for tea tree, grass and weed pollens. Ingestants are some of the common uh, allergy factors. Some of the common food allergens being animal origin proteins or plant origin proteins. Animal proteins are meat, chicken, prawn, eggs, milk, etc. Some of the common plant derived uh, food allergens being peanut, gluten, celery, sesame, etc. So, the allergens have to be placed in a neatly stacked in a tray and they have to be labeled properly. So, while doing the allergy skin prick test, you have to, the assistant has to properly give you the named allergens and you have to do accordingly in a systematic way. A positive skin prick test is reported when the reaction is 3 millimeters or more above the negative saline control. Factors influencing allergy skin test, you cannot do randomly allergy skin prick test on all individuals who are taking antihistamines. Antihistamine H1 blockers have to be stopped for a minimum of 3 days before doing the skin prick test. Selection of the area for skin prick testing is very important though upper back and lower back are good areas for doing the test for the sake of convenience generally forearm is selected and the reactivity declines with age in elderly people and also it is very small infants and young children below 6 years of age it is advisable not to do a skin prick test. Distance between two allergens should be a minimum of 2 centimeters. So what are the points to remember? Informed consent is very important before doing a skin prick test. Wipe the testing needle after each prick with a uh, sponge soaked in surgical spirit or any other uh, antiseptic agent. Express the allergy skin test measurements in millimeters only and a positive re result is mentioned as a sensitization and not as an allergy. 
AST can be positive in clinically asymptomatic patients when the patient is declared as sensitized but not allergic. This is the example of a skin prick test report. Here the patient has shown a very good response to D, uh, dermatophagoids uh, teroneus and DP and DAF mix which is about uh, 13 into 13 millimeters and the patient has shown to cockroach it is 10 into 10 millimeters. The interpretation should be like this, patient is highly sensitized to a mix of DP and DF with pseudopodia and erythema and poorly moderately sensitized to um, uh, prosopus and with good positive and negative controls. There are certain contraindications for doing a SPT when you will decide to do a in vitro testing. When there is extensive eczema, when the antihistamines cannot be stopped for at least 3 days and when there is history of anaphylaxis to any food, when in small children below 6 years of age and in pregnancy we cannot do the SPT. Immunocap test is an enzyme linked uh, immunoassay. It detects the presence of serum specific IgE, it is less sensitive but highly specific, it is expensive and you need a lot of infrastructure for this test. Component resolved diagnostics we do in certain circumstances when the patient has polysensitization or when you cannot derive at a correct uh, diagnosis and when you have to give a immunotherapy and when you are in doubt uh, which antigen you have to select for accurate diagnosis you can also uh, go for component resolved diagnostic test. Comparison between immunocap test versus a skin prick test. Immunocap test is uh, less sensitive whereas uh, a, the SPT is more sensitive, both are highly specific, risk of anaphylaxis is low in uh, um, skin prick test where it is none in immunocap test 